people are always looking for attention-grabbing headlines. Um, and sometimes what that ends up being is a distortion of the actual facts of the case. And um, so we always want to caution people, to the extent that you can, make your headline as accurate about the study as you can. In uh, 2002, there were uh, three or four media markets in, in, the ca in California that ran a story that effectively said that lemon juice can either cure or help HIV. Um, and one of the leads to that story, the, the reporter actually said, well, this story sounds a little bit too good to be true. But then she goes on to say, can lemon juice cure the HIV virus? Some scientists say it can. Well, you know, in this particular case, it was, a, it was a lab study. It hadn't even been done in animals. It was, you know, a petri dish that someone squeezed lemon juice into, and shockingly, the HIV virus doesn't live in lemon juice. Um, it doesn't take an expert to say, come on. <laughs> this, this, is not, this is nowhere near animal tests. It's nowhere near human tests. This is probably something we shouldn't be giving credence to on the air. Um, and I think just having those sorts of common sense, um, you know, about you is going to, even if your, your editor or whoever it is says, you know, you must cover this story, at the very end of it, you know, give some context. At least in that particular case, I think it's a, a, a real disservice not to state that this is a petri dish, this is a long way from testing, and that um, your audience shouldn't go out and apply lemon juice before sex. I mean, that's just ridiculous.